My name is Dr. Ahmed al -Katani. I'm the founder of the president of AQ Skin Solutions in California. What I would like to talk about is the usage of microneedling and growth factors. Many times people perform microneedling without using the congestion of the proper serum with it. And this has been causing a lot of problems in terms of causing extra bleeding, discomfort to the patient, as well as scarring. So what we saw today is a combination of microneedling, and I'm not talking about dermal roller here, I'm talking about a vertical insertion of needles through the skin, and combining with that with growth factors. We call this growth factor induced therapy. You can use it for uh, acne, for, you can use it for scar revision, for example, acne scars, stretch mark, or old scar that you want to get rid of. You can use it with hyperpigmentation, you can use it with melasma, you can just use it for quick rejuvenation of the skin, a little bit tightening and lifting of the skin. All these things can be used when you combine microneedling and growth factors. Microneedling also can come not just for the face, you can use it to stimulate hair rejuvenation and hair regrowth. And also that won't happen by microneedling alone. In this case, it, it's must combination with a specific type of growth factors. Not any growth factors, it's different than the growth factor you will use in your face or in any part of your skin. Hairs is a different physiology, it's a different anatomy. So you need to use specifically compound growth factors uh, specifically designed for the hair rejuvenation. And then by incorporating microneedling, you'll be able to introduce more growth factor to the follicle that will give you faster results and, and better results, frankly and also can help with the scalp conditioning as well. And it's very easily applied. You just apply the growth factor solution first, and then you microneedle, and then you apply it again. So I call it the sandwich technique, which is you apply growth factors, stamping, and then growth factors. And that's pretty much you know, the treatment for hair. Very simple, no downtime, no pain, but you get great results. The protocol we put forward is five treatments, which is once a week. You do one treatment in the clinic using microneedling and a hair complex. And then in between the treatments, you apply the solution in your hair topically and you massage it in every other day, just after you shower and you dry your hair and make sure it's dry. This helps stimulate the follicles to grow in the right cycle. So, and then you go to the clinic and you do this for five weeks. After that, you're done. You don't need to do it again. And usually you see result after two months. This patient would come, we did microneedling throughout her jawline. And what this does, it causes the skin around the jawline to tighten and eventually give her a lift. And it's very nice to help you tighten your skin. And there's no downtime again. And also the lift, it will be it's not going to be obvious, but it's be noticeable. So somebody will say, you know, have you done something to your face? And you can also use it for treatment under the eye. And what this does, it's help the circulation in your skin. Also, it breaks down the fat deposition under your eye area. In this case, you'll have smoother skin and will also cause your skin around the eyes to tighten up. So you'll have a small lift, we call it smile lift, around your eyes and get rid of your wrinkles and give you just a smoother look. But my experience been uh, one treatment will really get good results. So microneedling is now considered to be a great treatment for scar revision, for old scar, for stretch mark. And with growth factor do therapy, where when you combine with microneedling and growth factors, you're able to get rid of the scar, produce new skin around the area, get rid of the pigmentation, and the result come really quickly with very less downtime or pain. You know, if you use laser, if you use other things, I don't think there's any treatments right now that can give you the result that microneedling with growth factor will give you for scar revision. So I always ask how many treatments will you need for to treat a scar, and it's very hard to tell, it depends on the scar, but I always say do the first treatment. Do it right. Do it with the right growth factors. Once you do that, you know, then the patient can come after a week or two weeks, and then you can see that how the patient responds. Based on the patient response, you will determine how many treatment you will need. And you know, my experience been some people respond really quickly, so one treatment is enough. I would say 40% of the of the cases is like this. 
When it comes to very complicated scar, usually you need at least three treatments. But if it's done well and you pick the right doctor, usually one to two is what you need for any scar. Growth factor induced therapy is now something that you apply for, something that you've been trained for. And it's been trademarked and certified by the US as you know as a growth factor induced therapy. So I always encourage patients who wants to do this are to find a certified doctor, a doctor who went through the training of microneedling and growth factor music. So you can ask your doctor, are you certified for growth factor induced therapy? Uh, so picking a doctor is important. And it's okay to ask the doctor about his credential. It's, I, I think it's a must.